Well, imagine never having to gas up your car again. The recent surge in gas prices is definitely sparking mm -hmm. renewed interest in electric vehicles that run on batteries. Guilty as charged. Uh, however, WBZ's John Keller is showing us tonight new dependability rankings really might put the brakes on some of that EV momentum. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> That was Elon Musk in his new Tesla eight years ago, pedaled to the metal towards a glorious age of electric vehicle popularity. But it turns out there's a speed limit on the ambitions of Musk and his EV peers. The annual Consumer Reports ranking of most reliable vehicles is notable for the absence of EVs in its upper echelon. Tesla ranked 19th out of 24 vehicles rated. There are a lot of problems with electric vehicles. Auto expert John Paul of AAA Northeast notes that while hybrid vehicles did well in the rankings, some of the electric only makes are a headache waiting to happen. There's a lot of software related issues there's a lot of electronics and there's a lot of really cutting edge electronics in some of these vehicles another problem with evs charging up when away from home even if you can find an open charging station you may be sitting for several hours to wait and have your car charged up the outgoing governor set a goal of 750,000 evs on the road in massachusetts by 2030 the incoming governor saw his bet and raised it another quarter million Good luck with that. Right now, there are only 31,000 EVs registered here. Having more public charging available makes a lot of sense and maybe makes that electric vehicle uh, something that you'd consider in the near future. How far is that day around here? Well, I think it's going to be a while, a while out still. It's definitely top of mind. Cost, though, John, has also been a deterrent for people who might entertain getting an EV. Oh, no question about it, Lisa. I mean, according to the most recent Kelly Blue Book figures, the average sale price of a new EV, almost $65,000. Mm, yeah. That's 16000 more than a conventional vehicle. And the state's own research shows that it's uh, this, this highly touted rebate yeah. program they've been doing designed to right. stimulate more EV buyers, that tens of millions of dollars have been spent with little impact on the marketplace. But anything really new like this, right, it takes time. Right. Right. to catch on and work out the kinks. Even a skeptic like John Paul, who I interviewed yeah. in that report, says 20 years from now, maybe less, you'll have trouble finding a gas-powered vehicle on the road. Won't that be fun? Wow, and our environment will be glad for that. Uh, amen. <laughs> Thank you, John.